today we're going to be talking about what are radicals. You do have a square root that may look something like this. It's an understood two here. I'm thinking about that. That's why it's in the cloud. So this is called a square root. And then you also have something called cubic roots. And that will always have the three in the index, we call that. So we would say we have the cubic root of 125. So you might be saying to yourself, well, what does that mean? What do I do with these boxes that don't quite look like division boxes? Well, we have to know um, other foundational facts where for our square root, I'm bringing in that these are whatever is on the side of the equal sign where the blue um, arrow is pointing, your perfect squares. So one times one is one, two squared is two times two is four, three squared is nine, and so on. And it's really important to possibly know up to even 20 to help you simplify radicals as you go. So as I'm looking at this, what I'm going to think of, what twin factors, like the square root of 100, what twin factors will I multiply together to get 100? So I know I can break that up into a 10 times 10. And when I have that twin factor, what I end up doing is I'm just going to simplify this. So I know the square root of 100 is equal to 10. And it's telling me that I'm multiplying 10 twice in order to get that 100. So if I were to do the square root of 49, now I have to look at my listing and I have to think of what are the perfect squares. And oh, when I get down to where seven squared is, I see it's 49. So I know that the square root of 49 is just equal to seven. Another one you might have, oh, the square root of 121. So what two twin factors will give me the product of 121? Well, it's 11 times 11. So the square root of 121 is equal to 11. Taking it now to your cubic roots, instead of thinking about twin factors, you have to think of three numbers that would be multiplied together. So I guess we're going to call them triplets. These are some of the listings of your basic numbers that you may be using. A triplet that would equal 125. So I see, oh, well, five cubed is 125. So I know the cubic root of 125 is five. If I would do the cubic root, this is one that you'll use a lot of eight. Well, this is my brain thinking about it. Well, I know two times two times two is eight. So the cubic root of eight is equal to two. How about cubic root of 27? Again, I'm thinking of those numbers. The factors all have to be the same. So it is 3 times 3 is 9, and 9 times 3 is 27. So the cubic root is equal to 3. When we're doing this, you're going to find this is just an intro. As we go on and simplifying radicals, life doesn't turn out just so perfect where you're just using your perfect squares and your perfect cubes but we will simplify them as much as we can. If this video was helpful to you today, please add a like, comment, and most importantly, subscribe for more Math with Marsha. See you again soon.